Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion, and you might be wondering why I'm actually looking at the floor here at a setup. Well, reason being is I want to show everyone how to connect an SSD and a hard drive to use the ASUS SSD caching. So what I've done is I've actually set up my workbench, something that I normally don't do. We we test in real world atmospheres at High Tech Legion, so normally the system would be inside of a case. But for this, I went ahead and I pulled the motherboard out of the case and put it up on my test bench. And the reason why it's on the floor is because all my cords and everything and cables were just easier to access via the floor than if I had it on top of my desk. But let's go ahead and show you what needs to be done. Basically, if you look over here on the side, you will see that there are two SATA ports. This is via a Marvel driver, uh, a Marvel controller, and it's plainly states SSD caching. So now in order to use the ASUS SSD caching, you need to put plug in both of your drives, SATA, SATA connectors, to these two specific ports. Now if we go down to the bottom here, we'll go ahead and take a look and I'll show you what I've got set up. I've got a small capacity SSD. This is a Corsair F40. It's Sandforce 1200 controller in it and read and write speeds are about 230. Then I have a standard Constellation Seagate drive. This is a two terabyte drive here and basically I just have them connected as I would normally connect it to my power and of course then they get connected to the SSD caching control ports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the system on here and we will go ahead and take a look at how to set this up via the ASUS AI suite and it's very simple one click one button one click SSD caching Okay, we're back. As you can see, I'm in my desktop right now, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up a Asus AI Suite, and we're going to click on Tools, and we're going to click on the AS Asus SSD caching uh, button. Now, basically, as you can see, this is my Seagate drive. This is my Corsair drive. Very simple when you click caching now it's going to tell you that it's going to format your SSD and all your data will be deleted you click OK so make sure that you have a disk that does not have any data on it that you're that's clean that you're going to want to go ahead and cache now next thing it'll do is it'll, it'll initialize it'll bond the, bond the two drives together and it'll start an initialization process once it gets to hundred percent of course you know you're ready it will be enabled and then you could go ahead and run your tests while that's running I will go ahead and show you some numbers that I got with a single drive just the Seagate SSD and also with with the uh, with the caching system on so let's go ahead and go to ADO. And it's a little bit harder to see, but let's see if I can adjust this. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. And we'll be able to take a look at that. As you can see, with a single drive, the single drive on the 1024 is getting about 122 on a write and 125 on a read. Your 4K read is 82 and 
or your 4K write is 82 and your read is 124. Oh, we don't want to see that. I just didn't feel like registering this uh, version since I'm benchmarking on it. But now let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like with the SSD caching. The read speeds on the 4 kilobyte. 152.9 and the write speeds are 40. But you can see a definite improvement on your read speeds throughout. Crystal disk. This is without SSD caching. And this is with SSD caching. As you can see, there is a definite improvement on your read and write speeds. Now for PC Mark. This is PC Mark on a single drive, just the Seagate drive itself. And as you can see, our system storage score was 2076 without. And with the SSD caching, 3168. So there is a definite improvement in system storage capabilities. On you're going to you're going to see improvement on your read and write speeds. It's going to give you similar SSD speeds when you're opening, closing, boot up times, etc. And we'll go ahead also and take a look at. PC Mark Vantage, which most of you might be more familiar with since PC Mark 7 is a little bit newer. But if we see our HDD score, I got 5184 with the single Seagate drive and with the ASUS SSD caching, 10,700. And that's running the HDD suite. So right now we're at 34%. It is initializing. Once this does finish, then we will be able to utilize the SSD caching. And the good thing about this is if you're familiar with the Z68 motherboards that Intel uh, with the Z68 chipset, the Intel Z68 chipset, you'll know that they had Intel SRT on it which basically is the same thing as the ASUS SSD caching except with Intel SRT you actually needed to go into your BIOS and set your BIOS up for your uh, for a RAID array with this you don't have to all you need to do is just plug in to those Marvell ports that are on the board that say SSD caching on them it does tell you it straight out it also tell you in your owner's manual etc once you have that, go ahead and initialize your, your software via the ASUS uh, AI suite. Enable it. It usually takes about five minutes for a, 40 gig, for a 40 gig drive. When you want to disable it and you don't want to use it anymore, all you have to do is click disable. Now, the good thing about this is, is once it's disabled, you're not going to need to go back into the BIOS and change the RAID, ar RAID array to a AHCI or normal, whatever you decide to use. This automatically breaks the linkage. There's not going to be any need to reformat your mechanical drive. So it makes it a lot easier to use than Intel's SRT system. So everyone, that's been a quick overview of the ASUS SSD caching for the entire line of the X79 motherboards or the X79 chipset. 
You could get this on any segment. It will come with your higher end enthusiast boards, of course your segment boards which would be your WS and your tough boards and of course your mainstream performance boards which would be the standard X79 board, the Pro and then the Deluxe. Thank you for watching. Visit www.hightechlegion.com for the entire review. See you next time. Stay thirsty. Bye bye.